This video is about me buying a $10 USB 2 hub to discover it is in fact a poorly constructed USB 1 hub. Also, I'll be going over some issues with hubs in general. So this problem came out of me reviewing all these uh, devices to see which one gave me the fastest phone performance. And when I discovered this last uh, Puma project actually paid off, it was the best performer, I started using the phone. Trouble is, um, I also had these sort of like uh, internet lags and it's because it was dropping the internet connection and reconnecting the phone. So what I tried doing was putting a, a, a USB hub in there, and maybe it's because it's providing power, but it started working flawlessly after that. So uh, what's also good about that, since there's only one USB port on that device, uh, I can now use this uh, to connect to things like drives also at the same time to use it as a NAS server, like I am in this example. Ever since I started using a Windows um, 7 VM in Linux, uh, what I've been doing was sort of uh, breaking up uh, the hardware in half. Luckily, my motherboard, it breaks apart roughly in half of the devices. And what that me meant is the USB ports with the Xs there, those are the ones that are part of uh, Linux when uh, the Windows VM breaks. The other ports, um, they can be seen by Windows uh, because I installed the um, device drivers for those ports under Windows. So I was running out of ports to plug things anyway, but I had to get more ports so that the things I wanted to use all the time were uh, plugged in. So because of that router hub, I was uh, down a powered hub. So um, I had to get another powered hub. And I, I didn't know it at the time, but this is a smaller device than I thought it was. So uh, the hole was actually smaller and it fit um, some adapters I already had. So um, I didn't have to get any new adapters. I tried to figure out which was the ground pin on the connector by taking the USB connector and seeing if I get a continuity uh, between the outer part of the connector and one of the pins. And what I found out was um, it, in fact, was not connected. I um, inserted the um, connector into the connector and um, I saw if I had you know better contact by the exposed metal and it still did nothing. Yes. Okay, so these ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. The, uh, the the ring is ground for sure, right? The ring is going to be ground. So I was looking around for a description of its uh, power requirements somewhere uh, with this adapter, and um, I found one example. And when it said that it was five volts, like pretty much it had to be five volts anyway. Uh, so when I saw that, I, I just went ahead. Okay, <clears throat> I was doing a little test here, and. Uh, I noticed I plug it in, it says it's uh, got four, it finds four ports. So let's try plugging something in here, seeing if I get, it uh, says it found anything. Okay, so it did find a hid device, so that worked. Let's go to the next one. Should say there's a disconnect. Yeah, disconnect number six. What's going on here? Just, I'm just not feeling that this is like reliable. Okay, well, what's wrong? Okay. Okay, another HID, another HID device. So what happens if I put it in this port? <clears throat> device number nine. Hey, I got something. Okay, so, uh, Say I take it out of there. Device 10. So I put in this one here. Another hit device, probably device number 11. It's weird because it says there's four ports, but I'm getting, I am getting, you know, seven ports here. So. Maybe that's just um, the way they're daisy chaining the chip is a little uh, confused, but uh, yeah. I had trouble with my main computer doing this, but I didn't put the power in because I, I was afraid. Okay, so um, I seem to have pretty good results on mounting a uh, USB stick. Though this is a really shit, this is a really um, bad performing uh, system, so don't expect a miracle here. But yeah, this is uh, a recent trip I, uh, I made to uh, Toronto. So at this point, it looked like I had a functioning uh, hub, but what it became clear uh, through diagnostics is it was um, in full speed, not high speed, which meant it was really a USB 1.1 hub. And to my understanding, that's what it actually is. Yeah, I just went to Toronto to see Midger and uh, 
sort of made to ask myself, but uh, Toronto's kind of an interesting place. I'm supposed to go back there next year to see OMD, but uh, I don't know if they're gonna they're gonna show up or not. I'll be there around Canada Day if uh, if that's the case. Unfortunately, I did have a totally working uh, seven port USB two hub. It's just that one day I was trying to use a IDE to USB bridge that was kind of not working and it, it works uh, as a non uh, UDMA so I tried to make it non UDMA by putting the cable in backwards but unfortunately that I guess shorted something out and, and blew up the hub fortunately it didn't blow up my computer uh, that would really be a bad day uh, but that did not happen so uh, you know a $20 loss is better than a uh, $800 loss or whatever it turned out the night that I got that really cheap iPhone 5 battery that I was at the Salvation Army and I got this um, this USB 3 hub. And I actually use that today because um, it's connected to my um, USB Ethernet. Long story, but uh, what happened was I'm hoping that it doesn't run off uh, an adapter, but it hopefully has more power from the USB 3 and can feed the four devices that are on it. So that's kind of what I'm risking today. Also, I use a, uh, an old USB 1 hub. So it's amazing what can eventually become useful if you just leave it sitting around. I actually bought this USB hub because I thought my uh, failing Wacom tablet would work better as USB 1, but it just it was just dying. It didn't work. But it turns out that I got this, I think, off of the Italian ambassador to Canada. And um, uh, we corresponded, and um, I got it, I think, from a security guard on uh, Queen Street. But I walked into uh, their office, and I it just got it from a bag from their desk. And uh, anyway... There it is today. And um, what this is, is this is feeding all the, the low power devices, including the Wacom tablet, uh, this microphone. You see that thing on the left there? That's the uh, converter box for the microphone I'm speaking through. So what I'm hoping happens is I have an intelligent enough root hub that it's going to take all the, um, the load speed stuff and sort of packetize it into a, um, a high speed version. And if that worked, then uh, having two hubs would be technically better. Although the, the Ethernet on the USB 3 hub is isolated. It has wiring, which is in fact isolating uh, the, the USB 3 from anything else. So I was researching this thing a bit more, and I know that these things had horrible build quality. And um, they had things like chip on board with like little uh, plastic squirter, like um, old uh, wristwatches. So I just had to take it apart to see what was going on and uh, it looked like it was true kind of an industrial process but then the things were soldered on you know manually but uh, not with enough solder they weren't really dangerous they just didn't have enough solder so kind of an unexpected blessing it's just sort of friction fit with pegs so uh, it's actually pretty easy to take apart but um, uh, you have to sort of stick your screwdriver and then I did kind of dent it it appears to use a one-sided uh, electrical trace so there's no traces on this side so you just see components so one serious problem I found was uh, what appears to be a solder bridge between uh, the second and third pin uh, from that C5 up there on that uh, IC. And uh, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, that could be a potential problem. Uh, it looks to be you know, a bridge. So I removed that thinking that was a mistake and uh, the behavior of it did not change. So here it is with me after I worked on the solder and I definitely beefed up the USB port um, anchor solder, as well as the um, the host to USB uh, connectors, uh, as well as the barrel jack connectors, and I fixed the solder bridge. So in a way, I was kind of tempted to use this because I had investigated it, but um, the other one claimed to have protections, and uh, I'm not convinced this does, so um, I'm going to use the, the other two hubs. This is a picture of the back of the USB 1 hub, where it claims to have protection features. Thanks for watching.